Okay, so I've just got the PS4 Pro. I have hooked it up just to check it out. Um, works fine as expected. Um, but it's time to upgrade the hard drive. I don't particularly want to go off and install games and download patches onto a drive which I'll just be blitzing a couple of hours later. So I thought I'd just get on with it now. Here's the Pro. It's actually quite a nice console when you um, feel it firsthand. The pictures really don't do it justice. Anyway, I've never done this before. I'm not even going to bother reading the instructions. I'm sure it's as straightforward as you get. Um, apparently, this tag needs to come off and I think the drive bay is in there. Anyway, let's give it a shot see how far we can get. <coughs> let's peel off. Anyway, I've just popped this off with two hands. Plastic comes off. I can now see there's a screw there, which I will now proceed to undo, which will release the drive. Check this out. This screw, focus, it's actually got the PlayStation logos on it. How awesome is that? All right, so, pull it out, just a caddy with a laptop sized hard drive in there. Um, now, there it is. Oh, nice Toshiba drive. You can see that. And don't need that anymore. Two terabyte Samsung. You can feel it's a bit heavier than the other one too. So clearly it's a high density drive, double the capacity. Two terabytes. Um, and I believe it was upside down like this. Okay, so I've just changed the hard drive from the stock one terabyte to a two terabyte drive um, inside this PS4 Pro. As you can see, the system is um, obviously going back to default. Okay, so it needs um, the firmware update for the actual drive when you change it. And I have one prepared. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, you download the file from Sony, Google it, couldn't be simpler. You put it into, um, I think, a folder ps4 forward slash update, and then once you've done that. how long it took, five minutes or so, better than watching it. Um, yes, from here on in, we'll just need to do a backup restore. Here is my thumbstick. I, in fact, only just backed up save games and so on. Um, I deleted all the installs and stuff, I've got all the discs. Uh, the good thing about the PlayStation is that it pretty much Chucking a disc and you're playing right away. There's hardly ever an issue where you are waiting for too long. Um, so I'm not afraid to go ahead and reinstall lots of things or download lots of things. My internet is over 100 megabits. Um, patches download quite quickly. Right, system. Back up and restore. Okay, we've got the new hard drive in there, we've restored 
the data from the previous PlayStation 4. You can see that my account is active. Um, if we go into the settings, we should see how much space we've got now. So 1.77 terabytes. Of course, it's a two terabyte drive, but um, some data gets given up by the system and you can see I've already got 10 gig worth of save games on there. Zero apps, like I said I will be reinstalling Capture Gallery, I pretty much deleted everything. Um, didn't need that, the Pro I think captures at a higher bit rate and frame rate anyway. And yeah, so it's all good to go.